I actually question why this is legal. We need to go over an in-depth demonstration on this backstabbing option in outlets. Obviously on the market, there are just tons and tons of options, but I just got a couple here that we're gonna pick out. I got one that I'm actually just gonna, well, destroy. Um, and then we got the GFCI here on the left. That's actually just gonna be a pressure plate. Much different situation, but I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna show you kind of why or why not, right? For those of you who are not familiar, this is where the backstabbing option goes. It's just a little hole that goes in and you can just push it in instead of trying to wrap it around the pins. So we're gonna do a little tappy tappy and we're gonna open this outlet. Obviously without that cover on, you can see exactly where those cords go. Those two little squares in the middle, those are for the ground. You can also see where the two neutral spots are too. But now it's time for the fun part. We gotta try to see if we can see exactly where that backstabbing option slides in. You can kinda see it. We're gonna get some better angles here in just a second, but I want you to be able to see it from the inside here. And again, for those that don't know, this simply just slides in the back of the outlet. Just to verify that we have our bearings here, you can see the backstabbing option. Now we're gonna turn around and now you can see those little holes at the very top there. Yep, that's where it's gonna slide into and there's not a lot of contact there. Oh, but we're not done. We're gonna get a little bit deeper yet. So here I'm simply putting the wire in so we can actually see what it looks like once it's in there and what it's touching and what it's not touching, you know, all the contact points there. And frankly, there just isn't a lot and it kind of feels loose. Loose and not a lot of contact points in electricity, that's not good. Now that we know what it looks like inside the outlet and we know what it looks like from the back, now I'm gonna just take the whole thing apart. And I got this whole deal out here and now we can compare it to actually wrapping it around the screw versus sticking it in that little backstabbing option there. We obviously all know that wrapping it around this screw is by far superior. I mean, look at how much contact there is there. So now let's take a look here. You can kind of see exactly what I'm looking at. There's just that little pin down at the bottom. I'm sorry, everything is so small, it's really hard to kind of show you, but look how much little amount of contact there is. I personally find it pretty interesting that there is such little amount of contact there, you know, in comparison to say this actual pressure plate. Personally, I don't use the quick neck or backstabbing option and it's simply because, well, it just doesn't look safe to me and well, let's call it risk management. And sure, you can see that it's tight, but at the same time, you can see how it could possibly move if the outlet's a little bit loose or when people are adjusting the outlet back into the box or whatever. I mean, that could definitely move. After doing this demonstration, I've learned that I'm still not comfortable with doing the backstabbing option. I feel like there's just plenty of room for improvement. Again, let's call it risk management. If I have the option to wrap it around the screw and get 100% contact, that's what I'm doing.